guys, so right now I know I am in a different area. I'm at my mom's house. That's a cat. There's a bunch of cats over there. It's a party. So I'm away right now because I actually just went to a convention called Playlist Live where I got to meet so many of you and it was so much fun. If you want to see a video of that, I have it up on my vlog channel right now. It was really nice to see a bunch of just really happy people who felt like my videos helped them in some kind of way because I do get a lot of negativity. But this video is going to be about negativity that I've seen in some other areas. I actually had someone comment on a post that I made about Richard Dawkins. A little while ago, I made a tweet with a photo of Richard Dawkins and one of his quotes that are my favorite. And it's kind of funny to me because sharing things like this can still get so much hate from people who claim to be all about love and forgiveness. Oh, to be a fly on that wall when he tells this to God's face on Judgment Day. Sadly, it will not go over well. Oh, to be a fly on that wall. So you're saying you would just really love to see what would happen when Richard Dawkins is standing at Judgment Day and God is like, you are going to hell. I just, I would love to see that. Oh man, to be a fly on the wall, what a great experience. You know, seeing someone be damned to hell forever. I just can't wait. Oh, I wish I could see it. But it shouldn't come as a surprise coming from somebody who probably thinks that that quote is true and also great. Now I know I just mentioned being at that convention in Florida and how awesome it was meeting a lot of people who liked my videos and were excited to meet me. And I can relate because I have never been as excited to meet someone as I was the day that I met Richard Dawkins. He signed his book, The God Delusion, that totally changed my life and it was an amazing thing. I kind of fangirled. I was just overwhelmed from all the support and love from people that I met and I'm also getting support from audible.com. They actually watch my videos and like them and agreed to support me. And I think that's pretty awesome and convenient because I already use Audible all of the time. Actually, one of the audiobooks that they have on their website is The God Delusion, which is the book that I was just talking about fangirling over from Richard Dawkins, and I listened to it on the plane on the way here because I was actually stuck in a layover in Houston for three hours. Maybe this doesn't mean anything to you guys, but I think it's really cool because he actually narrates his own book. With every species looking uncannily as though it had been designed. Ah, it's the coolest thing ever. And they suspect that my audience is intelligent and likes reading, so anybody who signs up with my link gets a free 30-day trial. So you can use my link, audible.com slash Jacqueline, download something for free, and start listening. It's pretty easy. And here's some more lovely messages that I get from people. Hey guys, joke time. How do you know if someone is an atheist, vegetarian, religious, or a vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you multiple times with complete disregard to whatever topic you were previously discussing. Want to know what I've noticed recently? People who are actually theists don't really tell you they are unless you ask. Well, not always, but definitely opposite to what I've experienced with atheists. Yeah, this always confuses me because people come on my channel and then act like I'm evangelizing, but this is my channel. Like, you click the link. I'm not knocking on your door and asking you if you've heard the good news yet that you're going to hell. I mean, religion is forced on people all the time. Whenever it comes to our rights, whenever it comes to our education, whenever it comes to our legal system, it's crazy. And yet they still feel like atheists are the ones pushing. It's... I, it makes no sense. Just cognitive dissonance all over the place. And then he goes on to say, being an atheist is just as irrational as being a theist due to the fact that both are based on a belief system that has no scientific standing. You cannot prove nor disprove one another's beliefs. Oh, people still don't understand that atheism is not a belief system. It's not. It's the lack of a belief system that is honestly ridiculous. The burden of proof lies on the person making the claim. If I say leprechauns and magical fairies and flying teapots are real, it's on me to prove that. Not you to say that I might be wrong or probably am. And like I said, this is a channel where I often discuss topics that are controversial in nature, and one of which is my lack of belief and the fact that I am an atheist. So if you don't want to hear about it, don't come on this channel. It's not like whenever I'm hanging out with my friends, I just interrupt random conversations to be like, by the way, atheism anyone? And yes, I understand if you're a theist and you come to my channel, I might make you feel uncomfortable, but I'm not doing that intentionally. I'm just trying to talk about my feelings on the topic and how it can be harmful to some people. But you want to know what is harmful to people? Threatening them with eternal torture and damnation if they aren't just like you. I think that's pretty messed up, and yet that seems to be okay with people, at least more so than talking about why you're not religious. How do you know if someone is an atheist, vegetarian, religious, or a vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> That's really funny. With complete disregard to whatever topic you were previously discussing, let me tell you something. At least on the diet aspect of these things. I've been vegetarian for like 
five, almost six years now. And it's never something that I bring up to harass other people while we're eating or something, but I get shit all the time. People are like, oh, oh, you're not gonna eat meat? Well, I am, this bacon tastes delicious. And oh, you're not gonna eat meat? Well, where are you gonna get your protein? And oh, no wonder you're so skinny. I get harassed all the time for my dietary choices. And trust me, it's not the other way around at all. And I actually weighed less before I stopped eating meat. So pff, go figure. I am not one for controversy in person. I talk about it all the time on my channel, but whenever I'm in person with people that I know, family, family and friends. I try not to stir the pot. I don't like to have fights with people. It pisses a lot of people off. It turns them off. So it's not like I try to interrupt conversation with my beliefs on things or that I'm mean. But I'll tell you what, I get that shit all the time, whether it's about food or about Jesus. People just want me to be safe. But yeah, a lot of people are very sweet to talk to me. Not all of it is negative, but there is a lot of negativity that people often ignore or for some reason think doesn't exist. Or if they know that it exists, they disregard it and they think, oh, that's okay. But if it comes from me on my own channel, in my own personal space, it's like I am evangelizing, I am pushing. But anyways, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Like this video, share it everywhere. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Atheists are so dumb and arrogant. And this is my favorite thing ever. When someone insults your intelligence and in the comment insulting you, they misspell something.